Fun Facts presents the 1953 Oldsmobile Fiesta Convertible. It is a 50s classic car and it was a limited edition in 1953. I am excited. I hope you're excited. This is a beautiful car and let's get started now. The 1953 Oldsmobile Fiesta Convertible, it was the most expensive Oldsmobile, more than twice the price of the next most expensive model. The Fiesta was a limited edition that was only offered in 1953. Just 458 were produced. The car had a signature wraparound windshield, leather upholstery, and all the accessories offered in the lower priced models as standard equipment. In addition, the car had a padded dashboard, windshield washers, and 10 more horsepower than the regular Olds 98 models. The basic design was first tested as a concept car at the famous General Motors Motoramas, at which the company tested new designs for future GM cars. The Fiesta was one of three limited edition convertibles GM offered in 1953. In addition to the Fiesta, it offered a Cadillac Eldorado Special Convertible and the Buick Roadmaster Skylark Sport Convertible. Of the three, the Fiesta was the most expensive by more than $700. The price was $5,715. The engine was a 300, or 303 cubic inch overhead valve V8 Horsepower, 170 horsepower at 4,000 RPMs. The wheelbase was 124 inches. The overall length was 215 inches. As a post-war economy reached bottom time proportions, automobile manufacturers looking to capitalize on the new prosperity began enticing the public's imagination with ongoing stream of futuristic dream cars in venues such as General Motors' famous Motorama. The enormously popular show that began in 1949 in conjunction with the New York Auto Show and then toured the nation. In 1953, the Motorama Traveling Road Show debuted not just dream cars, but a quartet of bold, new, limited production vehicles that promised to attract throngs of GM showrooms. The Buick Skylark, the, Cal the Cadillac Eldorado, Chevrolet's Corvette, and the Oldsmobile Fiesta. One of the first of these so-called hollow cars halo cars to result from GM's daring new approach to marketing its wares. The powerful and luxurious Fiesta convertible helped showcase the creativity of GM design chief Harley J. Earl and his design team. The segmented pre-war look was gone, replaced by a more unitary body design that would span the industry by the mid-1950s. In fact, many of the Fiesta's various styling components drove both Detroit and independent automotive design for more than 10 years after its introduction. The Fiesta was also a technical step forward, literally driven by the new 303, 170 horsepower rocket. The overhead valve pushrod V8 engine and GM hydromatic automatic transmission, this 1953 Oldsmobile Fiesta convertible from the Bob McDormand collection demonstrates all the qualities that showed the way to the future of automotive design. The 1953 was a very significant year for General Motors. 
with the Oldsmobile division was now celebrating its 53rd year of business and the exciting GM Motorama had entertained the American public for five years and GM decided to celebrate once more 1953 Motorama with a series of low volume high styled convertibles and the convertibles were to be the top of their divisional respective lineup and the featured many styling cues and options that were not available on any other models. The Oldsmobile entry was named the Fiesta and it featured a unique wraparound windshield and soon to become famous spinner hubcaps. The Fiesta shared the stage with the Buick Skylark and the Cadillac Eldorado. Owning and driving one of these very visible models with the top down drew a great deal of attention as you cruised down the highway in the 1950s. When it arrived on the same train of collective thought as the Eldorado and Skylark, the Oldsmobile Fiesta was the least known, as well as the rarest, of the 1953 trio because, perhaps, it was the least promoted. The only promotional literature published for that model, according to Automobile Quarterly, was a too small, two-sided postcard proclaiming it a custom classic with a fiesta flair. Oldsmobile seemed lacking of enthusiasm for the fiesta may have been because it was imposed on the division by GM styling chief Harley Earl rather than hatched from within. Nevertheless, it made its public debut alongside the other two at the 1953 Motorama. While it shared most of its sheet metal with the regular 98 convertible from which it was derived, it did boast a wraparound windshield similar to the Eldorado's that was fully three inches lower than the standard 98 windshield. Needless to say, it was a hit as it spread through the GM lineup in 1954. While it didn't look that different from other Oldsmobiles, the Fiesta was loaded with virtually every factory option of the day. Its amenities included leather upholstery and auto rock and auto and atronic eye headlight dimmer, a backup lights, power operated brakes and steering, hydraulic power windows and front seat, a heater defroster, and a super deluxe window bar radio. As with the other two cars, air conditioning was not offered as it was considered super superfluous on a convertible. I haven't seen that word before. Superfluous. Fluous. Rather than the wheel wire wheels of the Eldorado and Skylark, the Fiesta's oversized 800 by 15 wide whites were highlighted by four wheel covers with three radial spinners that reflected light, especially at low speeds. Ironically, those wheel covers became the most lasting legacy of the Fiesta as their design was appropriated by countless custom car enthusiasts for years to come. The Fiesta had its own engine variant too, a modified 303 cubic inch rocket V8 rated at 170 horsepower, five more than the standard engine that drove through a four speed hydromatic automatic transmission. Unlike the other two Motorama Special Editions, they were revised and continued in 1954. The Fiesta existed for a single year, although its name was later revived for a line of station wagon. Of the 458 total 1953 Oldsmobile Fiestas built, with black interior and black and ivory interior color scheme. This, this was a massive car for, for the day powered by Oldsmobile's famous rocket overhead valve V8 engine. 
The manufacturer's suggested retail price for this car back in 1953 was $5,715, nearly double what a mid Oldsmobile would cost. Okay, well, if you found yourself this far into the video, we'd certainly like to thank you for taking time out of your day to watch our video. And if you like our video, please give us a thumbs up because it really does help our channel. And if you like our channel, please subscribe because we'll be doing all of the fun cars back in the 50s and 60s, the muscle cars, sports cars, hybrid cars, supercars, autoramas, custom shows with hot rods, and there's just a little bit of everything for everybody. So we hope to see you when we upload our next video. Take good care. Thank you.